Hi everybody, it is May 8, 2019. I just want to go over um, some economic news for you. Wow, anybody who could say that our economy is doing well is clearly a moron or uh, so immoral they are lying through their teeth. Anybody who could believe that the economy is doing well, well, I guess you are doing well, and you just don't want to look at reality. You like to live in your comfortable little bubble. It's called a delusion. It means that you're mentally ill. I will link below to everything. Bizarro world. Mike Pence says there is no inflation when there is massive inflation. The dollar vigilante and do uh, check out the channels of uh, the two videos that I'm going to be showing you. Let's start with the first one. So today on CNBC, Mike Pence the uh, some criminal from uh, the terrorist organization known as the U.S. government uh, was talking about how there's no inflation and they should lower interest rates. This might be a time for us to be considering about lowering uh, interest rates, but look, we just we just don't see any inflation in this economy at all, which is pretty hilarious. And there's a number of reasons it's hilarious. Uh, but uh, one of them, well, first of all, let's just talk about what inflation is because no one seems to know and obviously Mike Pence has no clue. I'm pretty sure Donald Trump has no clue either. He's been a benefactor of central banking his entire life and uh, low interest rates and been bailed out numerous times. Uh, he's been bankrupt so many times and just constantly bailed out. So they have no clue what inflation even is and, and most people don't. Inflation is an increase in the money supply. That's what inflation is. Inflation is not rising prices. That's a symptom of inflation. So when he says there's no inflation, that's patently wrong. There is inflation. There's been inflation since about 1913 when the Federal Reserve was founded. They're constantly increasing the money supply. The money supply rarely ever goes down. In fact, it hasn't gone down in decades and decades. The last time, off the top of my head, I think the last time it went down was 1929. When they actually uh, lowered the uh, money supply on purpose to cause the Great Depression, that was the Federal Reserve at the time. So we're currently at around, I haven't looked at the numbers just in the last little while, but it's, it's right around 10% inflation, which is pretty insane when you think about it. The money supply is increasing at about 10% a year. So if you're not increasing your income by 10% per year, which hardly anyone is, you're not even c coming close to keeping up with inflation. But what Mike Pence is talking about is that prices aren't rising very much. <laughs> oh, my wife's stealing some money from me here. We're in a market in uh, Montego Bay, Jamaica, so we might get interrupted a few times. But when he's talking about it, he's, he's basically saying prices aren't rising very much, which is also patently false. <laughs> the, just look at the numbers uh, of anything. How much does it cost to go to school, college now, which is just indoctrination camps and, and mostly useless and a waste of four years of most people's time. But what does it cost now? Hundreds of thousands of dollars? If you look at the numbers, and we could probably find some charts on the increase in education. It's not even education, but increase in going to college. It's up massively. I think I looked once, it was like 500% in the last 20 years. So, that there's no inflation. Uh, how much does a condo cost in New York now? $10 million? <laughs> uh, the, 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 no, there's no inflation whatsoever. You know, it, it's hard. It, how do you deal with these people? These people are what we refer to as our leaders, and they come out with these outrageous, bold lies all the time. Inflation. Have you seen the price of, uh, well, food going up. How about rents going up? Uh, how about everything going up? Have you noticed that what you are getting, you're paying a higher price, price for less of what you used to buy? You know, 
less ounces. They keep, you know, you certainly see that in the supermarket when you are going to purchase a product and suddenly it is no longer the same amount. It's less than you used to uh, purchase. It, it, <laughs> that's also one of the ways in which they try to conceal inflation. But according to our vice president, uh, there's no inflation. All right. Okay, critical. The U.S. government is now raiding pensions. Well, we knew that this was coming. Now that we understand that since we breached the debt ceiling a couple of months ago, um, well, what does it mean? It means the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. So what do I mean by that? Where's the cash coming from right now to support the emergency measures being instituted by our government? Well, again, do not take my word for what I'm about to tell you. I want you to look it up for yourself. The government right now, your government, my government, the United States government is raiding pension funds to the tune of eight hundred billion dollars you heard right they're raiding pension funds now what is what is it called for those of you that maybe understand a little bit when an investment fund is used as a piggy bank to pay off debts and loans by another individual that is holding those funds like a pension fund what is that called it's called a Ponzi scheme. You understand? It's called a Ponzi scheme, and that's exactly what's going on. Our government, right now, the United States government, is raiding pension funds to fund itself, to pay bills, to pay off the interest on the debt, to keep everything going. But meanwhile, we are being fist-fed how strong our economy is. I don't know how many of you follow me on Twitter or Facebook. I posted a chart of credit card default since second quarter 2018 it has gone parabolic understand we have no middle class anymore the middle class is surviving right now on debt and on credit and a large part of those people their pension funds are being are being raided right now uh, so they're getting hit from both ends, and they probably don't even know it. Okay, you might want to click on the link and listen to the full video. What Gregory Manorino has to say. Yeah, well, we're screwed. They have to collapse the economy. Because otherwise, they're going to have to explain why Americans are no longer getting their pensions or getting you know pennies on the dollar for what they thought they would be getting they're, they're, they have to do something big to collapse the economy to take uh, away the focus of the abject criminality that is taking place all over the Fed will give banks the Fed will give banks more money you're kidding me 36 billion taxpayer funded subsidy this year. You're kidding me. Again, the Fed giving billions of taxpayer funded subsidies. Do you realize that these people who run the Fed, who in, in the Treasury Department, in the federal government, are leaders, are criminals? Do you understand that? Please. Please, just consider it, consider it, that these are not good people, these are criminals, and they're stealing, they're stealing your money all the time. They give it to their friends. And Trump is one of those criminals. Do you get it? Do you, you, you don't get it. You, so many people don't get it. It's so frightening. But they'll get it soon enough. I didn't know that Ivanka Trump was the job czar. You're kidding. Trump appoints his daughter to be the jobs are. Where are the jobs? 
Where are the jobs, jobs, czar? Oh, you just say, there's so many jobs. And unemployment now hit a 49-year low. Hey! <laughs> cheering! Cheering! Yay! Cheering! We're making it happen. These people are so sick, so twisted. They lie through their teeth. Now, you know that Trump increased the billions to give to Israel. You know that Trump increased the billions to give to the military industrial complex. Latest budget request. The Trump administration is asking for a near record $750 billion for the Pentagon and related defense activities. An astonishing figure by any measure, if passed by Congress, it will in fact be one of the largest military budgets in American history. $750 billion represents only part of the actual annual cost of our national security state. You can put that at about 1.25 trillion to defend us, to defend, to defend our freedom and all of those constitutional rights as they're being stripped from you in total. So we give so much money to Israel. We give so much money to the military industrial complex. We're giving $36 billion to banks. Again, you know, taxpayer money. <laughs> you see, Trump made redefined poverty, cutting Americans from welfare rolls. Get it? Okay. Uh, the top 1% is still the top 1%, and they're getting an infusion of cash while the 99% are getting so screwed well uh, I guess we've hit a new level of apathy and people are just dying you know the Trump administration may alter the way it determines the national poverty threshold putting Americans living on the margins at risk of losing access to welfare programs. Now a lot of you may be thinking, good, these welfare queens, these people who don't want to work, cutting Social Security, and Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security disability. Oh boy, yeah. It's scary to see Trump supporters actually support this guy. Well, you can read all about it. Yep. Uh, here, the measure first set in the 1960s is calculated at three times the cost of a minimum food diet and adjusted every year as prices rise. In 2018, a family of four making no more than 25900 was considered impoverished. The figure determines eligibility for a wide swath of federal, state, and nonprofit programs, including Medicaid and food stamps. By changing the index the government uses to calculate how much the cost of living rises or falls, the poverty level could rise at a slower rate. It's uh, scary what's happening. And yeah, I don't think most Americans know what's really happening with this economy. And again, you know, if you're comfortable, you may not realize how many Americans are falling off the financial cliff every single day. Okay, here. The economy's blood pressure is falling. Freight traffic dropping. The economy could soon get dizzy. Uh, a giant corporate tax cut which passed Congress in December 2017. It was supposed to re-stimulate the economy and it didn't. Uh, but something else is happening with this brewing trade war. January 2018, the Trump administration imposed 
tra uh, tariffs on imported washing machines and solar cells. March 28th, the president tweeted, trade wars are good and easy to win. And a few days later, authorized new steel and aluminum tariffs. April 2018, China fired back with tariffs on certain U.S. goods. June 2018, the European Union joined with retaliatory tariffs on certain U.S. goods, including whiskey, motorcycles, orange juice. It got worse from there, but the point is that anyone who was paying attention knew by mid-2018 that American buyers were going to pay more for imported goods and considering that we hardly manufacture anything here, we import a lot. Prices will continue to rise. No inflation, though, okay? Don't worry. No inflation. U.S. businesses responded by rushing to import as much as possible before tariffs rose even higher. Businesses moved up their import purchases. It meant they would import less in the future. Now the future's here. Warehouses are full, cargo traffic is slowing, and more consumers are not buying. Hey, isn't it great? More alarm bells as banks report lowest loan demand since financial crisis. Latest alarm signal that the U.S. economy remains on collision course with a recession. We are in a recession, but uh, yeah. The uh, remains, oh my god, oh hi, sweetie, okay, uh, hang on guys. Well, I apologize for the interruption, but it seems that Geico decided to come and pay me a visit. Yeah, well, uh, he was very, very cute, and I finally got him and now he's back outside. Yes. In the land of Oz. And look at him pulsing. I'm wondering if these... Yeah, I think these pulses are coming from my computer. We're all being pulsed with these frequencies. But yeah, I capture all bugs, lizards, anything that comes in, and they go right back outside. But, yeah, isn't he very cute? He's very sweet. Well, let's get back to our fabulous economy. Lending standards and terms for commercial and industrial loans remain largely unchanged from already generously easy levels, demand for those loans tumbled to levels not seen since the financial crisis. Even more concerning is that banks also reported weaker demand for both commercial and residential real estate loans for the second quarter in a row, echoing the softer housing data in recent months. No, our economy is not swell. The crash in U.S. economic fundamentals, fundamentals is accelerating. We are on a runaway train, and we ain't going back. Boom times for auction houses as American farmers go bankrupt. More than 7,000 robots will work in construction. By 2025, goodbye construction workers. Robots taking over miserable job of unloading trucks as e-commerce mar margins slide. Robots, more and more robots taking over jobs. Hey, Ivanka, jobs are. How can you claim that our economy is doing fabulously and we've got the lowest unemployment ever? More and more Americans are working when robots are taking over so many sectors. Um, California's mandatory minimum wage hikes are starting to backfire. Well, anybody, you don't need to be any expert in finance, a financial whiz, to know that when your economy is bad already, 
and you're asking a uh, small business to raise if they have what is it six employees or more they have to give a fifteen dollar minimum wage that's going to hurt small business California's minimum wage hikes have slowed job growth among restaurant workers so does America have an economy or any sense of reality? No. Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, we are having a propaganda barrage about the great Trump economy. We have been hearing about the great economy for a decade while the labor force participation rate declined, real family income stagnated, and debt burdens rose. The economy has been great only for large equity owners whose stock ownership benefited from the trillions of dollars the Fed poured into financial markets and from buybacks by corporations of their stocks. When are we going to stop playing this game? When are we going to stop living a delusion and look at reality squarely? When? Are we ever going to do it? Probably not because I lack my rose-colored glasses. So, why the younger generation is losing faith in the free enterprise system? You wonder? Free enterprise system? A free market system? Really? Who could possibly claim that our economy is based on a free market? Please. Please. I don't like being taken for a fool, a moron, an idiot. We do not have a free market system. We have not had a free market system. When you're regulated up the wazoo and people cannot open up small businesses, uh, when you're subsidizing corporations, you do not have a free market system. Okay, I'm done. I'll link below to everything, but yeah, well, pensions. Bye-bye. How do I sign off? Well, I hope you are set financially because big things are coming and it's going to hurt a lot of people. Ciao.